Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for Inauguration Day, January 20th, 2021. Yesterday, we saw those bulls coming back in after a um, day off, and here we are already in the middle of the week. We ran into a little bit of price resistance yesterday in the charts. But last night after the bell, we had a really strong report from Netflix, and that is uh, pushing the NASDAQ higher this morning. So how about we settle in, buckle up, and let's get ready for the hump day edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Looking at the charts this morning, we can see that we, we ran in just a little bit of a challenge yesterday. Nothing that was bad. Um, you can see we popped up here, we we bumped into price, we, price resistance in the chart right here, and then we turned around. Although we had good earnings reports yesterday morning from um, the banks, they just didn't seem to want to hold on um, to those gains first thing um, yesterday. And we kind of struggled just a little bit here in the Dow, pushing back just slightly, just struggling with that price res resistance as we were trying to muddle around um, yesterday. Um, although we remained bullish and we had a winning day yesterday, just a little bit of caution maybe um, in that price action. Note that our trend remains very, very positive, that we are doing nothing here, but really consolidating um, uh, the big move of the market. And we're waiting, I think, probably on inauguration to maybe get past that to the political things that could occur around that. And also, just to kind of see where all of these earnings might start coming in. So keep a close eye on that. We're at this point in the chart where we really could find that influence, uh, bullish influence from earnings reports or whatever, and really burst on out of this resistance high, setting new record highs. Or we have this same possibility that we could maybe start drifting below that trend. So watch that carefully. This tight consolidation continues to form, and I think the longer we consolidate here, the better it is for the overall market because it's giving our moving averages time to catch up and provide some additional support underneath price action. So keep an eye on that. We're looking pretty good overall, but there just is that little tiny bit of caution here in the market. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now, SPY did a better job yesterday, as you can see, pushing on through to a bullish close. But as you can see, we are still just kind of challenged in this resistance zone of the market. Our trend remains very, very bullish. There's no signs of failure here. But once again, we're just kind of drifting along in this consolidation, kind of a wait and see um, approach here to the market. Now this morning, we're getting a little bit more bullishness um, here in the um, SPY, as you can see, perking up, looking like we're going to challenge these resistance highs um, in the market. And that's largely fueled by the strong results from Netflix yesterday. If we take a look at Netflix, huge gap up open here. Um, I think this surprised a lot of traders, including myself. I thought Netflix might have a tough um, road ahead uh, being challenged by Disney, but apparently not so much. Um, they added a lot of subscribers looking very, very good. And you can see Netflix soaring this morning, almost at the point of breaking out to new record highs here in Netflix. So very strong results. And that is fueling a QQQ rally this morning. That is tremendous. You know, when we get one of these big tech giants to move big like that, it pushes the entire index higher. And as you can see, we're pushing up strongly here in the NASDAQ this morning and could easily break out, setting a new record high right at the open today in the NASDAQ. So watch that closely. We're being led 
on this NASDAQ move. Of course, we have a bunch of earnings coming out today, and we'll talk about those in a, in a moment that could certainly have an effect. But right now, the bulls are leading, and the NASDAQ is leading the market. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM kind of had a pause yesterday, really didn't do much, just kind of floated around yesterday. But what's interesting to me is that energy, the energy sector and the financial sector um, remained very positive yesterday. We didn't see any faltering there in those sectors, and they continue to fuel this index higher. So keep a close eye on that. Right now, I think there is a chance that we could see IWM just rest here a little bit and then push on out for new record highs here in IWM. So bullish trends are in play. The bulls are in control. Let's take a look at our um, VIX. Now, one of the things that just continues to be a little bit of a problem for us in the market and keeping, um, I think, the market a bit on edge is that we're not seeing the VIX really break down as we continue to push up and test resistance highs. Now, perhaps today we see that with the NASDAQ pushing through. Maybe we can finally get um, the VIX to start breaking this little uptrend in here, pushing it down. And what we really need to see is we need to see that VIX actually breaking down this support if we're really all that bullish for the market to move higher. If we can't break that down, what we have to be prepared for as traders is that significant volatility to remain where we have these big upside moves as the bulls continue to push, but that very dangerous condition where we could suddenly whip to the downside. So make sure you're staying focused. Don't get complacent here in this market. Market. Be prepared for um, a profit-taking wave or a sell selling wave at any time. And it could be based on news or events or anything like that that trigger it. But watch that carefully. We also don't have too much trouble here to worry about until we break above this downtrend. So far, that's not been the case. If we pop above that and hold, then we have that little bit of a problem. But notice that we did at the end of the day, rally back up here in the NASDAQ to hold above that declining 50-day moving average, that blue line right there. We just seem to be struggling here. Um, it shouldn't be the case when we're showing so much bullishness in the market. Let's take a look at T2122, which is the four-week new high, new low ratio. And yesterday we had a little back and forth in this, but we ended up with the uh, T2122 pushing back up here and we're approaching that bearish reversal zone again as we continue to press and press and stretch this market out. Um, watch that closely. At any point in time, T2122 is telling us that we could catch some selling. I don't know if that occurs today, if it occurs next week, if it occurs even in the next few months, but it is continuing to signal that we are in a kind of an overbought condition just for the short term. And, and that short term could be, you know, just a one day quick reversal could change that condition. But watch that closely as we continue to push higher this morning. Um, we may be reaching um, that point where we get a little bit of profit taking. Watch that close. And then let's take a look at T2101. Unfortunately, as we were rallying yesterday, notice that we actually saw uh, the overall market breadth pull back um, in the showing that we had a little bit less support yesterday than we would probably like to see. We had a few more um, um, declining issues than we did have advancing issues, even though the market was up. And that continues to remain a concern as we continue to push this little downtrend on this where we seem to be running out of um, some of that energy. Perhaps um, um, all these earnings reports can help fuel that up and get us moving. We'll want to keep an eye on that. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar has a few things that we want to pay attention to, um, but mostly it's all going to be political today. Notice that we have uh, mortgage applications this morning uh, out, and we have um, the housing market index that will be out at 10 a.m., but mostly the world is going to be focused 
um, solely and almost totally on the um, inauguration events um, that will be going on today in Washington, D.C. So keep an eye on that. Um, we could get um, a lot of price action moving around this morning based on earnings reports, but then maybe kind of some light and choppy price action throughout the afternoon as traders are distracted by those festivities. So watch that closely. Um, also keep in mind as you're planning forward, we have some big reports coming in on Thursday and Friday. So you're gonna wanna keep that in mind as we move through this week. Um, these big reports definitely could be market moving and couple that with um, a ramp up of earnings events we could see uh, considerable volatility so keep your eyes on that and make sure you plan carefully moving forward let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up guys whoops i forgot we need to take a look at earnings um, on the earnings front today we have a bit of a ramp up in some of the earnings uh, today a few more companies reporting a few more verified reports if you guys want to see the full list of earnings make sure you click that link directly below the title of the video that will take you back to the morning blog and you can see uh, these reports so first off um, on my notables list we have Alcoa. AA has been very, very bullish um, here recently, just looking really, really bullish. This is going to report today, and it looks like we're trying to perk up just a little bit this morning. Now, that could be a result of just the bullishness going on this morning, but watch that closely, Alcoa reporting. How about BK? BK, New York Bank. Um, watch this one. Looks like it popped up this morning and is pulling back here just a little bit. Keep an eye on that bullish trend. Everything is going strong here, but we're seeing this in a lot of these uh, big bank reports. They report, pop up, and then just kind of drift um, sideways to down so watch that closely it's looking pretty good um, overall um, a different sector uh, take a look at Fastenal this morning Fastenal will be reporting today um, obviously housing has been very very strong with the low rates and Fastenal supplies an awful lot of those fasteners to build those homes um, in construction and so you can uh, um, imagine they've had a pretty good quarter but watch that closely as they report today we've been uh, very very strong in this upside trend testing some resistance highs up here watch that uh, take a look at KMI KMI Kinder Morgan um, natural gas mostly natural gas pipeline uh, company um, starting to come back up one of the things that's been interesting to me in this market is natural gas has not been um, responding as strongly as the rest of the market and one of the things that I think is noteworthy is as China has been shifting a lot of their coal burning plants to natural gas we could start seeing that natural gas number um, move on up so watch that carefully um, as we push higher here um, in KMI. Pretty interesting chart trying to break through some resistance. Take a look, uh, Morgan Stanley reporting today. Looks like Morgan Stanley has reported well this morning, trying to perk a little bit higher out of this consolidation move. Notice we've been in a beautiful upside trend. Morgan Stanley could help lead those financials higher. Uh, Procter & Gamble reporting today, and so far we've got a pop and drop popped up this morning on a good report but for some reason we're getting some pullback on this um, today and you can see we've been in this downtrend on PNG so we need to see um, those bulls pick this up and get back above that downtrend if this is going to turn back around it looks like those um, earnings might not be the thing to uh, move us up there so watch that close um, US Bancorp will be reporting today you will want to keep an eye on that notice that we are pushing down a little bearish engulfing candle in this pre-market candle forming here um, as if um, maybe they disappointed this morning so watch that close we also have an airline UAL be interesting to see how these report it's kind of amazing to me where we've had um, airlines with one of their worst years in history pushing up um, in speculation that once uh, we get past the pandemic everyone's going to take off and fly again but watch that closely I can't expect these um, airlines to produce uh, great earnings results 
um, during the pandemic. And then last but not least, UNH healthcare sector will want to keep an eye on this. Looks like UNH is suffering just a little bit this morning in the pre-market. We've got a bit of a double top high here, but we are trying to hold on to this little upside trend. So watch that carefully. This is one of those that could pop either direction. Let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up today. But before we do that, guys, if this is the first time you have seen these videos, if you could do me a quick favor, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. I hope you guys see that these videos are just a little bit different than um, the hype and drama that you might get out there um, in other places um, in social media. I really want to look at the price action and the technicals of the chart to help me determine how I want to approach the market today. Those things that could affect us throughout the day. And if you find these uh, videos to be helpful, if you could please click that thumbs up button and also click that bell icon, or excuse me, um, click to leave a brief comment. That helps us continue to grow. And I want to say thank you so much to everyone. Just past 17,000 subscribers this weekend. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. And also please feel free to share these videos out there on any of your social platforms. I truly, truly appreciate Appreciate it. Let's take a look at some stocks that are looking pretty good but and could be setting up for today. But remember, guys, that as I show you these stocks, this is not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. You have to do your own due diligence. Make sure you're not blindly following someone else's trade. Make sure you understand the risk and how that fits your trading plan before you enter any trade. Let's take a look. Uh, Valero Energy. Valero is looking um, kind of interesting here in the sense that Valero is pushing against this resistance. And as you can see, I've marked that out with this pink line. That pink line um, on my charts is always going to be um, an alert. So what I've done is I've placed an alert on that chart. And as you can see, we got this little rally and we're consolidating this move underneath that resistance and we're trying to show a little bit of bullishness. Now, energy has been very, very strong and we could see um, these refiners start to perk up here. And if we can push up through that level, there might be an opportunity here in Valero. So keep a close eye on that. Energy has been holding up um, and just showing lots and lots of strength here recently. So keep a close eye on that. Um, if we take a look at XLE, and this is another place that I think it's worthy to note. Notice that XLE is up here pushing against some price resistance. Let me pull this back a little bit more. You can see we have this level right through here that's just a little bit of price resistance. And we're pushing up against that to, um, the last few days trying to break through that level up there. So we're dancing around in this area, showing lots and lots of strength in this sector. Now, don't be surprised if we just have to consolidate this move a little bit more over here uh, toward trend before this pops out. But XLE energy sector stocks looking pretty good. Now, I will warn you on these energy sectors, we are approaching this longer term downtrend. So if we push up into there, don't be surprised if we run into some price resistance on these energy stocks. Let's take a look at ABBV. ABBV, nice little consolidating move after breaking through resistance here in the chart. And you can see we're consolidating um, up in here. And if we look at the trend, we could draw this trend off of here and notice that we're approaching that trend. We could draw a trend this way and notice that we could consolidate a little bit more in that chart. But I placed an alert up here to see if this can push on through. I'm not a big healthcare um, or drug manufacturer uh, trader, but a lot of the folks in right way options are, so I always try to stay on top of that. And watch this closely here, um, that opportunity that we could push on through on that chart's looking good. Take a look at NKLA. Now, NKLA, a very speculative company. This is a, um, if you look at the options on this, they're 120% implied volatility. But if you take a look right here, we are breaking downtrend 
in this chart and NKLA trying to push up. Now this is a very, very bullish pattern where we rally up and consolidate over to trend. I would watch this for that opportunity that this could pop on through and move to the upside. We always want to uh, make sure on any trade we take that we're paying attention to earnings dates. But with this reporting on 2.8, we've got enough time for this to maybe to perk through and push on higher in anticipation of those earnings. So watch that closely. Very nice pattern here. Something you might want to pay attention to. This is also a pattern that we call a rounded bottom breakout and a rounded bottom breakout is where we push up through that 50-day moving average after being in a substantial downtrend and we can see all of the shorter term averages starting to roll up providing some price support underneath here and the natural target on these is the 200-day moving average so watch that we could have that move up here toward that 200-day um, and KLA looking pretty darn good. Let's take a look at Altria. Now, I've been watching Altria here for a while and watching for a potential move that could break us above this downtrend. And we're holding up in this chart. Now, unfortunately, this is going to report on 128 and could really mess up this entire trade idea. But what I'm looking at in Altria is a long-term trade. Looking at a weekly chart here, you can see us kind of setting up. And I would be looking for that opportunity that this might pop on through and provide some nice upside potential on that longer term with a a substantial dividend yield here as well. So keep an eye on Altria if you like a longer term trade. Um, take a look at LTHM. Um, LTHM was in my morning prep video yesterday and you can see we pushed on through yesterday. There's that beautiful pattern again following the trend consolidating over pushed on through and looks like it's extending on up this morning. So keep an eye on that chart. I wouldn't want to chase this here. What I would want to do at this point is wait for the next entry into the trade, but a very good looking chart overall. Take a look at PZZA. PZZA was also in yesterday's morning prep video. Pushed on through my alert, looking very, very good as those COVID related stocks continue to show lots of strength. Once again, make sure you're paying attention to these earnings uh, dates, but PZZA looks like it's ready to come up here and challenge these highs in the chart. So keep a close eye on that. Um, there are quite a few other companies out there looking very, very good. I can't cover everything this morning. I'm running out of time, but just watch these patterns closely. The market is remaining very bullish bulls are in control so we want to stay with the trends but we want to make sure we're not chasing around really really highly volatile stocks with um, zooming patterns because those reduce our potential for a actually decrease our potential for a winning trade if we're trading those trading those really highly volatile stocks keep an eye on stocks with nice consistent concise price action in these beautiful trends and you'll see a lot more winning trades so everyone have a great day i want to wish you all of the best stay safe we'll see you right back here bright and early thursday morning take care everyone